Jurgen Klopp has been speaking about Timo Werner and Kai Havertz, as well as outlining Liverpool's current transfer position. The Premier League champions-elect have been strongly linked with moves for the Germany internationals, but it appeared a deal for Werner was the likelier, given the RB Leipzig striker favoured a move to Anfield to play for his compatriot Klopp. However, the 24-year-old now looks poised to join Liverpool's Premier League rivals Chelsea. Werner is set to sign a £200,000 per week contract with Chelsea after they agreed to pay his £53 million release clause. Chelsea have money to spend after selling Eden Hazard to Real Madrid for £88.5 million last summer, and given they have another £50 million to come from the agreed sale of Alvaro Morata to Atletico Madrid. Frank Lampard's side have already agreed to buy Ajax attacker Hakim Ziyech for £30 million, and after completing the signing of Werner, they are tipped to move for Leicester City's left-back Ben Chilwell. But apart from Chelsea, who were banned from making transfers last summer, few Premier League clubs are expected to do much business when the window reopens. It was a subject talked about by Liverpool manager Klopp in a revealing interview with Sky Germany, in which he spoke highly of Werner and Bayer Leverkusen's 20-year-old attacker Havertz. Klopp said, There are a lot of good players on this planet. Timo Werner is a great player. Kai Havertz is a great player. Right time, opportunity, everything has to come together. Six, seven weeks ago, we didn't know if we could play again this year. If we hadn't played the second half of the season, we would have thought, OK, when can you really play football again? And now it starts right away. We act as if everything is already settled. It's not settled. We use this little loophole we've been left to play football again. Everything else we have to see in the moment it happens. We can't pretend now that everything's going to be fine in the future. Klopp went on to suggest that Liverpool cannot be seen to lay out big transfer fees in the current economic climate. He said, There are all sorts of rumours in England about who Manchester United are going to pick, who are Chelsea are going to pick. It's rather quiet here at Liverpool at the moment, I think it's safe to say. If you want to take it seriously and run a normal business and depend on income and have no idea how much you will earn, especially because we don't know when we can start playing with spectators again. At the moment, all clubs are losing money. Without spectators, we have to pay back the season tickets and probably sell none next year. At least maybe without the first 10 or 15 games. The VIP areas won't be packed and the tickets won't be sold. This will have an impact on other partners and things will look a little bit different. Discussing with the players about things like salary waivers and on the other hand buying a player for £50-60 million, we have to explain.